This is Dot Grid, and it's my latest um, sort of coding experiment that I built over the weekend. Um, it's been a fun exercise because it's all written in JavaScript and OpenGL ES shading language, so a lot of shader programming, which is something new to me. Um, but I thought I'd give a little bit of a demo and explain how it works. So the system allows me to create a bunch of agents, each represented as a little point, and have them move about and leave trails on the canvas, which can then influence how other agents move. And so by tweaking exactly how they sense the trails left behind by others and how they adapt, adjust their direction, we can get a whole bunch of different emergent behaviors, a lot of which looks very similar to things like slime molds, which if you've ever seen stop motion um, or sort of sped up video of slime molds moving and engulfing food, you'll start to recognize some of these patterns. Um, but it can also have much more interesting sort of just abstract behaviors as well. Um, so it's, it's endlessly fascinating to me because you get all these different emergent behaviors and it often looks like it's converging, only to explode into something completely different um, because of the randomness that's, that's built in. Um, so it's a very fun project to build. It's also um, kind of eye-opening in terms of what you can do if you're willing to embrace the difficulty of writing code that runs on the GPU. All my previous generative art experiments and so on have been CPU-based and very slow, whereas this, because it's all done in shaders, all the movement logic, all of the graphics, all the pushing textures backwards and forwards, um, it means that it can handle simulating millions of agents in real time on my computer, and there's no real strain on the CPU even because most of that work has been done by my piddly little integrated graphics. So very, very fun to build this, um, really cool to explore, and I hope you have fun. Um, the way it's set up, you can use these presets down at the bottom, um, and use those to get an idea of, of you know, maybe a starting point. Um, but then you can go and tweak the parameters. So once you've clicked on a preset, you'll get the total number of points, um, how fast it's going, what size the points are drawn at, and so all of these you can adjust, right? If you want things to go twice as fast, double the speed, um, you can see what would happen if you um, maybe added some more randomness to the, the movement or had it wrap around instead of bouncing off the walls. Um, yeah, so you can play around, you can pick, pick a starting point that you like. Um, I'll try and add some more explanation, but really I think the easiest way to, to get to know it is just to fiddle with these different parameters um, and then see what comes up. And it's often very entertaining. I could sit here for hours doing this um, and I hope you enjoy.